Welcome to this edition of Trojan Talk. I'm Paige Ray. Joining us today is Perry Haga, the president of Troy University's Naturalist Club. Welcome. Thank you for having me out. Of course. <laughs> so today we're talking about a new event. It's the inaugural Earth Day Festival. Yes. For folks who may not have heard about this just yet, can you tell us what that is? Yeah, it's a, um, well, obviously it's a festival. We're going to have like educational booths and like carnival food. And it's free and open to the public and students. So it's just kind of a way to get people to come out to the Arboretum and learn about the Arboretum and also just some Earth Day themes. That's so. perfect. Now for people who don't know what Earth Day is, can you yeah. tell us about that? So Earth Day is just kind of a, a day that is meant to raise awareness of our environment, our natural world, and kind of what we can do to help steward it better. And that's an important topic, <laughs> I feel like, that a lot of people are talking about right now, is how to better take care of our planet. Yeah, absolutely. So I know this is the very first time that this Earth Day Festival has happened, so mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a lot of hard work going into it. Yeah. Can you tell me about what you guys have been up to leading up to this? Sure. So we've kind of been prepping some educational booths, so kind of doing research on what kind of topics are relevant to the people that live in Troy and what do we want to want them to learn about, want them to take away, and uh, putting that all together into some fun activities and fun demonstrations that we can present to everybody. I love that. And you mentioned different booths. So is this something yeah. for you know college age people or everyone's welcome? Everyone is welcome. The educational stuff is going to be geared to more towards like a K-6 level. Okay. Um, some local high school students are actually going to be the ones teaching at each booth. Oh. So definitely if you're new to science, new to biology, want to learn some things, it's accessible information for everybody um, because it is that like K-6 level. So if you want a refresher as a college student, it's still a great Thing to come and learn if you want. That is awesome. I love that. And you mentioned this is at the Arboretum, which yes. we had uh, Dr. Alvin Diamond on a few weeks ago mm -hmm. talking about all the upgrades going on at the Arboretum. So I feel like this is another good event to get people there to see yeah. everything. Yeah, definitely the goal of hosting it at, at the Arboretum is to kind of just bring awareness and get people out to see what's been going on and see that it's maybe a little bit different than it was last year if they were out previously. Absolutely. Now, in case we haven't sold everybody on this <laughs> yet, tell me, for someone who thinks, nah, I don't think I, I don't really care all that much, what would you say to them to get people to come? Um, well, it'll be in April, end of the month, so it'll probably be a very nice day. Mm -hmm. um, good for a walk, good to see some stuff that you haven't. If you're into, like, carnival style food and fair food you can just show up to eat that food if you want <laughs> um yeah well i mean i just think you should come because i think it's kind of fun and interesting but and it's important <laughs> and it's important for yes, sure absolutely now you mentioned it's the end of april can you remind <laughs> us what day yeah april 22nd so that's a saturday it's from i think 10 to 2. okay all right, so late morning into early afternoon. Yeah. Is there any place that people can go to get more information? Maybe a Facebook page? Yeah, we'll be posting kind of more on the uh, Arboretum Facebook page as it gets closer to the event. You can also always email um, Alvin Diamond, who's the Arboretum Director, adiamond at troy.edu, and you